In this video, we're going to go over how to export donation information from your GiveWP plugin. All right, let's get started. Okay, great. So the first thing you need to do is log in to your websites. And here I am. This is the WordPress dashboard. And in order to find the um, donation information, that you're looking to export, you need to go do, to donations. And the export is in the tools area. Go ahead and click on tools. This will open up uh, the tools tabs and you'll see export is pretty much the first one here. Now there's a number of ways to export here. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit so you can see them all. Um, the most uh, encompassing of all information is the very top one, export donation history. I'm just going to click on this tab here to generate a CSV file. And you'll see here that you're going to have um, tons of different options to export. So if you're pulling this into another database, QuickBooks or whatever, you can actually pick everything that you want here. So you can pick the different forms that you want to export from, um, the actual dates that you want to export to and from, and of course the statuses, if they're all complete or if they're pending or if they're refunded. So you can generate a whole number of uh, different types of reports. Right now we're gonna be exporting all this data and this is just gonna be one ugly CSV file. So what I would say is just go here and just deselect all fields here down at the bottom and then go through this and pick the ones you want. You probably don't need the donation ID or the number, or, um, but you probably want their first name and their last name and their email and their address, right? And you probably want um, the donation amounts and things like that. So look through here and find everything that you want to get included in this report. And uh, as I say, you probably don't need a lot of this stuff, like the payment gateway. Do you really need to know if they donate or Stripe or PayPal? Um, and if you do, great, check that. But if not, don't worry about that. So what I'm gonna do is just generate a test CSV file here real quick. Um, I'm gonna add the total, the date of the donation. So we got their name, their billing address. Yeah, that's enough for now. I'll just generate that CSV file. And so simply click that button and it'll generate a CSV file that will pop open and you can save that form. Let's quickly take a look at that so you can see how this data looks. Okay, so here is what it looks like in Excel. As you can see, it's just a list of the, the donors by the total they donated, the date they donated, of course, their names, emails, and all the information that they provided. Okay, let's just go back to our GiveWP plugin. Okay, back to the export page quickly. We'll just go over this. You can uh, do it in PDF format. And if you click this generate PDF, this is just going to export the donations and the revenue that you received through different funds. Um, it's basically a, a final number. So this is great for a quick report, but it doesn't really give you details on who donated and how much they donated. Same with this one. Uh, this exports as a CSV file, so you can export the revenue and donation stats. But again, this just kind of gives you a month to month uh, listing of the donations that you received, but doesn't really give you information about the donors themselves. Now, if you wanted to export a donor list, you could do that simply here by exporting the donors with this, give a start date and end date. You can pick the forms that you want to pick from. And of course you can pick the information that you want to export as well. So that will give you, if you wanted to do a mailing list or something like that, you can use this as well. Exporting your GiveWP settings. Uh, if you had multiple GiveWP plugins on different sites, you could do that. Um, I'm not sure how useful that is for many people. And then, of course, if you have people who have subscriptions or recurring donations, then you can export anyone who has an upcoming recurring donation. And maybe you want to send them um, some information about their upcoming donation. In any case, that is the GiveWP export area, and it's actually very simple to use. And again, it's pretty powerful if you just export the donation history. You're going to be able to pick and choose all the information you want, and you would then simply use it for reports, put it in an Excel spreadsheet, import it into a different uh, accounting software, however you want to use it. All right, folks. That wraps this up. Hey, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you want more information on how to use GiveWP or basically fundraising for nonprofits in general, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, folks.